அட்டோல் ஓகே ஒரு சேஸ் விட்டுருங்க பாலகிருஷ்ண மண்டி அட்டோல் பஸ்வேஸ் வரலோ அட்டுல் பதக்கந்தன் பூர்வ பாலகிருஷ்ண மண்டி ஓகே தென் பசவரேஸ் குழு ஓகே விஸ்வரஞ்சன் புரோஹித் அனில் பிரபு சொதங்கர் தீபேந்திர தாஸ் ஹரி ஹரி பிரசாத் ஹரீந்தர் பிரபு ஹரீந்தர் பிரபு ஹரீந்தர் பிரபு ஹரி ஹரி பிரபு ஹரி பிரபு கிருஷ்ணமூர்த்தி ஜிபு ஜோஸ் ஹரி பிரசாத் பி தென் ஹரீந்தர் குமார் ரோல் நம்பர் ஒன் ஹரி பிரபு ஜிபு ஜோஸ் ஓகே தினேஷ் சரத் தினேஷ் சரத் தினேஷ் ஜோஸ்மன் ஜோஸ்மன் அகஸ்தின் குமார் குமார் ஸ்ரீவத்சவா சாரி ஜெயபிரத போர்வன் மதுகிரண் செட்டி மோனிஷ் மோனிஷ் மிருகங்க தாக்கூர் முத்துக்குமார் கே நவீன் பட் நவீன் சிங் எஸ் நிகில் சரத் முதக் நிகில் நிகில் நிதின் சங்கர் ஓம் பிரகாஷ் பிரகியா மிஸ்ரா பிரக்யா மிஸ்ரா ராஜ்குமார் ஆர் எஸ் பிரக்யா மிஸ்ரா ஓகே அண்ட் ராஜ்குமார் ஆர் எஸ் ரமேஷ் தேவராஜன் சங்கரநாராயணன் வேணுகோபால் சங்கரநாராயணன் சஸ்வேகர் ஸ்வேதா புருஷோத்தமன் சையத் ஸ்ரீ பாலாஜி பிரசாத் சுஜித் நாயர் தபரக்குள்ளா தாமரை லிங்கம் வெங்கடசூர்யா வெங்கடசூர்யா விக்ரந்த் ஸ்ரீவசவா 
ವಿನೋದ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ರವಿಚಂದ್ರನ್ ವಿನೋದ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಮಿತಿಶ್ರೀ ಮಿಶ್ರಾ ಮಿತಿಶ್ರೀ ಮಿಶ್ರಾ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ್ ಪಿ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಪ್ರವೀಣ್ ಶರ್ಮಾ ಇಷ್ಟ
So welcome to this uh, validatory function um, of postgraduate certificate in supply chain management. Uh, we're going to begin the event now. And we have in our midst, uh, the Honorable Director of IM Tishrapalli. So I request uh, Professor Praveen to usher the director to the dais, please. So uh, we will begin this event uh, with invocation and lighting of the lamp. Oh, 
I now request Professor Praveen Tambe, uh, Program Director, to present the batch report. Uh, good afternoon to everyone present over here and uh, also those who are attending this uh, validity function online. Uh, it gives me immense pleasure to uh, give this uh, batch report of the uh, postgraduate certificate program in supply chain management batch two. So uh, as far as our uh, journey is concerned, uh, uh, we, we launched this program in association with uh, Times TSW. So at that time, the name was Times TMW, which is now changed to Times Pro. So the journey started in May 2021 uh, with the planning process uh, related with this uh, certificate program. And then uh, uh, with the marketing that is being done by the Times Pro, the, the process continued with uh, candidates enrollment. Then uh, the inauguration, it happened on 9th October 2021. And then you gone through the uh, different course modules and uh, along with the campus integration module, which happened in this particular week. And uh, finally, the valedictory function today, that is on 6th of November, 2022. So uh, at IIM, we, we, we believe in giving the right content and in terms of the rigor that is involved. So uh, we try to uh, design this program in terms of giving you the, the kind of a conceptual background uh, followed with the, the theoretical modules, then the different application areas of the supply chain. And uh, of course, uh, we have also included some of the emerging uh, trends and topics that uh, needs to be taught as a part of this program. And uh, as a part of the program content, uh, then we included the, the nine modules along with the capstone project and the campus integration module, uh, which uh, included the, uh, uh, the supply chain simulations, then uh, uh, the simulation modeling workshop. And uh, also we had uh, two guest lectures today by two eminent personalities who are related with the supply chain management uh, by Mr. P. Ravindran, uh, who is uh, the chief claims officer in uh, railways. And he was also associated earlier with uh, Chennai Port Trust as well as Cochin Port Trust. And also uh, by Mr. P.A.B. Bharti, uh, who is the vice president in Wheels India Private Limited. And uh, so uh, as a part of this uh, program, uh, initially total 59 candidates, they enrolled for the program. But then uh, because of some professional commitment and because of some other reasons, uh, four candidates, they opted out of this program. And uh, there were five candidates because of their maybe some personal commitments or the professional commitments, uh, they could not complete the, all the modules of the, this particular program. So there were five candidates. And uh, finally, 50 candidates, from batch two, they successfully completed the program. And uh, of course, one candidate from the previous batch, 
also joined in this batch and uh, he also successfully completed the program. So now uh, there are total 51 candidates who are eligible to get the certificate today. So congratulations to all of you. So uh, as far as the work experience concerned, uh, we have a very uh, wide experience of the, the candidates who enroll for this particular program. So uh, here is a, is a kind of a representation of the work experience. And from here, here we can see that uh, uh, average experience is almost more than 10 years. So it's a, it's a great opportunity for uh, both of us like uh, we try to give you some inputs maybe based on our expertise and the knowledge, as well as it also gave us the opportunity to, to, to learn from your experience also. And in that way, it resulted in, uh, it, it, it resulted in a great learning as far as the, the program went through. And uh, as far as the educational background is concerned, uh, uh, we have uh, participation from uh, different streams, uh, from engineering, the commerce, the science, and also the, the other backgrounds like the uh, few were from the pharma background, few were from the uh, computer side. So, so it resulted the, in a very wide uh, or the diverse stream of uh, the subjects of the participants who enrolled for this particular course. So uh, these are the uh, list of the companies from where the, the candidates uh, uh, joined this program and represented their companies for uh, the particular program. So uh, before I conclude, uh, once again, uh, congratulations to all of you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Professor Praveen. Um, I'm sure it was a very exciting journey to reach this day. Okay. So we have uh, with us our director, uh, Dr. Pravan Kumar Singh. So just to give you a brief about him. So he's a seasoned academician with more than three decades of experience. Okay. And, and he's also a great academic leader. Now, prior to joining IM Trichy as its director, he was the director of uh, MDI Gurugaon. And, and, and also earlier he was uh, director in charge of IM Indoor. And in between, he was also the nodal officer and, and uh, academic mentor of IM Sambalpur, Sambalpur when it was actually set up. And he has a great number of uh, publications and presentations, more than 75. And he has written several books. And, and uh, he's a great orator. Yeah. And, and definitely uh, you would look forward to uh, hear from him. And, and, um, and, and definitely uh, his academic leadership inspires many, um, and definitely wherever he goes, he uh, creates a lot of positive vibrancy in the place. And uh, definitely um, there's a lot to learn from him. I'm sure he'll share very insightful um, uh, thoughts in terms of, uh, and, and in terms of giving you directions on what you have to, how you move on from now after the, completing this particular set of kids. Cool. So without uh, taking much time, I request uh, our director to uh, address the gathering. Fine. Thank you. So instead of using podium, I'll be just uh, roaming around. Good afternoon, and it is a very uh, special afternoon for all of us. And uh, grand congratulations to this batch entire batch of uh, 50 plus one, uh, 50 participants could completely, could, could complete successfully. So grand congratulations and uh, let your voyage take direction in the upward journey. Let there be ascending journey from now onward. My dear colleague, Professor Godwin ji, Professor Praveen ji, Professor Sarish ji, my dear all faculty colleagues, and all dear staff, especially our dear staff team from executive education team, which is always available. Their work is 24 seven, <laughs> you can understand. And uh, we are very happy to receive uh, some parents and family members 
and thank you for coming here sir thank you dear children how are you fine <laughs> all right very nice and dear all successful participants so this is a journey and that you have completed a part of journey very nicely and if it would have been a, an inaugural program a mandate would have been clear for me that to give some idea about supply chain management but it is validatory function and i do not know what to speak to you because already you know everything about supply man supply chain management and i am basically not a person from supply chain management but i'll ask you questions and let it be a little interactive and joyful uh, discussion uh, randomly i am picking up uh, joy prata barman ji is here joy prata barman ji please sit down please sit down and keep keep answering some uh, questions and your answer should come from your heart isn't don't worry it is right or wrong because already cgp has been given <laughs> so don't worry for that so joy prata ji supply chain management as a composite whole package of knowledge where does it fit into the entire business model in the entire business model of any endeavor any enterprise where does it fit into my question may be clear unclear don't worry for that give answer to this question where does this fit into your business model heart so anyone doing marketing will say it is heart how many hearts we have <laughs> fine yes please yeah yes. so in my opinion like based on whatever understanding and uh, whatever we had the supply chain uh, supply chain is hugely integrated in any business model so so basically I, then that's why i'm calling it as the heart of the uh, that's one okay idea. thank you very much it is a short and sweet answer it is a good answer see uh, this is my belief every individual has his or her own way to grasp to grasp something conceptually clear for clear conception different individuals have different style i have also my own humble way and my way is to see the both pictures together the grand picture and the micro picture both together supply chain management is an activity very important activity you said it is hard how does it appear when i see the entire business model you see in entire business model of course business should be done with a grand purpose i'll tell you rigved has wonderfully said rigved long back that time mba was not there it said that an enterprise should extract profit from its own work or endeavors in the same way as a butterfly extracts honey from flower without disturbing the beauty of the flower see the beauty of rigveda don't make your organization ugly by extracting you know don't do mining by making earth ugly let earth be further let us say green and all and there are processes i have some experience of mining area as a student uh, uh, industrial relations camp we used to do there i loved mining area i loved all the toughest places of work i loved blast furnace though i am a student of human resource management where i used to say unless you know blast furnace how you know the manufacturing process and i used to challenge engineers that you do not know, know engineering if you do not know how blast furnace works <laughs> do you may be a computer engineer or whatever should know so any endeavor has to and business endeavor has to have profit why profit not to make extra money for the entrepreneur and enjoy his life like a lavish person profit has to be there so that itself the profit itself feeds the business further and business multiplies and becomes more useful for the society that's why profit that never should be neglected and profit comes through generating revenue revenue is the numerator you can say or you can say if a minus b then a is revenue and minus b you cannot have revenue without putting certain effort and for putting efforts you need capital you need other variable cost you need fixed cost variable cost isn't it as i understand as a layman in supply chain management pardon me for my grave mistakes 
when we say profit is equal to revenue minus cost revenue is taken care basically by let us say marketing sales advertisement all these and uh, those who strategize price or those who find location of selling because revenue itself is equal to price per unit multiplied by number of units sold if you are in manufacturing sector or even in service sector what price you levy and how many customers you served p into x price per unit multiplied by number of units sold is revenue so your friends in marketing area promotional area they will be more focusing on revenue side of that and you see any business is highly like like a football team in an integrated way you have not only to score goal but you have to save goals i remember in one world cup uh, italy was the champion and the total number of the goals they scored in the entire tournament was only 8 but they were world champion because they did not allow others to score goal almost they had considered i, I don't remember but I, either it was zero or one goal they considered but eight goals they scored and they were world champion and that was a fantastic team their passing game was so fantastic i think it, it may be around 12 years back or whatever so pardon six ha ha kuch yaad nahi aa raha waisa but exactly i don't remember but that was the team i remember eight goals they scored revenue was so less but cost was also almost zero <laughs> so profit was there what was profit gold medal Suppose had they scored sixteen goals and conceded seventeen goals, um, maybe by the time it is quarter final, they might have been out of the tournament. So you should focus on revenue, but maybe your some other team members will focus on revenue more proportionally than you will focus on revenue. Being the team of supply chain, your focus is more towards cost, and cost is a big business in the entire business model. and cost also you know cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost fixed cost keeps on decreasing once production starts moving towards uh, economy of scale and variable cost it depends on your own business strategy that how fast you want to multiply the volume of the business depending on that your variable cost will increase entire supply chain management to my understanding and when i was i was a student during 82 84 i did my management program during that time supply chain management terminology was not used it was mostly inventory control or mathematical modeling of inventory control materials management and supply chain management developed primarily it is from production area uh, from the field of management like in physics there is general physics heat light magnetism similarly in management there is production area production management marketing management hr management etc so this area of supply chain management it is basically offshoot of operations management area as we know but here certain dimensions of marketing is also into picture because marketing management also takes into account that where should be basically the final delivery point of the finished product and even in the throughput process which are the various nodal centers and of course middle middle managers they have to Uh, focus on uh, which is the source of raw material where is the warehouse and where is the basically production center so to my understanding in the entire business model when we see because when we say business model automatically everything should come to your mind marketing finance hr operations strategy economy everything business model that's why i say it sometimes to my faculty also very humbly i say if we are discussing on how to do excellent teaching in that meeting our research orientation should not be forgot forgotten while emphasizing teaching and when we are talking about research we should do research a meeting is only devoted for how to augment research that time also we should not forget our orientation towards teaching it happens managers when they discuss depending on the agenda and the title of the meeting they become captive of that and they lose their free floating capabilities to actually integrate in a grand way that's why when you see entire business model then you understand that we also run various programs like general management in the supply chain this is the program we have only general management program we have program on marketing management we have program on hr management and leadership so whenever as a manager you take a decision please 
be an integrated manager, a leader. And that's why when you grow further and further and further, you need to develop more and more and more appreciation for the other department other than where you are actually posted and getting salary from there. That's why unless you have art of appreciation and understanding others' viewpoint, accepting criticism with uh, sportsman spirit, unless we have that, we are not preparing ourselves well to become more and more senior because we need not to be only senior, we need to be senior gracefully. Be senior gracefully. Grow gracefully. Be old person gracefully. There is, there is great uh, gracefulness involved in becoming old, becoming more experienced, becoming HOD. And HOD should not be only head of department. He or she should be also heart of department. The whole department should vibrate, let us say, with the emotions that you charge with the, the, the team. So HOD is also heart of department. Anyway, randomly I will go to other participants. Surya S.G. Is uh, Surya is there online? No, could not come. Fine. Ramanujuluji, I think I found on. Is online? Ramanujuluji. Yes, sir. I am online, sir. Yes, please. Can you say yes, yes. to us? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell me, sir. Is he connected properly? Yes, connected, sir. Ramanjulu. Yes, sir. Ramanjuluji. Yes, sir. I think you are able to hear, hear us, but uh, we are not able to hear you. Yeah, I am hearing Fine. Uh, please take care. I may come back to you later on. Yes. Sir. Abhinav Chaube ji. Uh, he is from previous back. Mm. Okay. Arnab Chakravarti ji. Arnab ji, please tell. The question may not be connected to supply chain management. It is a parting discussion. And from here, you have to save your ship. Isn't it successfully? Whether every follower is a good leader, yes or no? Sir, uh, the definition of a leader should come into this aspect. He, he should be a follower. He should be the inspiration. My question behind. just wants a, an answer in yes or no form. Every good follower is good leader. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Every good follower is good leader. It means every good follower is automatically a good leader. Answer is no. Some good followers are only good followers. Not necessarily they are good leaders. But when you reverse the statement that every leader is a good follower, the answer is yes or no. Yes. The answer is yes because every leader has to be a good follower. There is no leeway there. Every good follower may not be a good leader, but every good leader will be a good, good follower. follower. Why? Why every follower may not be a good leader? There are reasons, but that is not the subject matter I want to bring in here. Why every follower is not a good leader? Because some followers, they are very happy remaining second in the line. Their dream is that every time I should be second. Why? If some problem comes, the first one will come first into the picture, I will be always safe. <laughs> always uh, preferring to be vice president than to become president. Preferring to become deputy general manager than to become general manager. There are people like that. I call them suffering with second place syndrome. May not be a good leader. A leader has to go and open his chest. If, uh, if arrows are coming, my chest should be first. The leader says that in the battlefield. Similarly, in organization, you have to take the issues, you have to take the bulls by the horns if you are leader. Of course, with full humility. Humbleness is the prerequisite to become a good leader. But with humbleness, you have to take the bull by horn. But my subject is different here. My point I want to make is different. Every good leader is good follower. Why so? Suppose we are all in a team of 51. And suppose I am the senior most and I am the I am given the senior most position. So you call me also formal leader. 
Now, as a formal leader, there is no guarantee every time the best idea should come from my mind. No guarantee. I am not the uh, most intelligent person here. The leader of the team need not to be the most intelligent person of the team. But the leader should be able to lead the team of intelligent people. It is like this. When you see flower and when you see thread separately, now there is no commonality. Flower is flower, thread is thread, dhaga dhaga hai, pushp, pushp hai, pool, pool hai. There is one flower called anikyam or anichyam in Tamil Nadu. Anichyam, anichyam has been quoted uh, almost thrice by Tiruvalluvarji in Tirukkural. Anichyam, anichyam, anichyam. Flower. There is no commonality between flower and thread. But when you make a garland, when you make a garland, then thread and flowers come together. And common thread passes through all the flowers and makes a garland. Now garland is integrated whole, made of flowers and one common thread. And thread, when it is poor, sometimes it, what happens during puja, garland becomes very costly. When you go to garland shop, uh, what is the price? Sir, there is 70 rupees. Oh, 70 rupees. I know, sir, the, so many flowers are there. And thread will not be visible in costly garland. In, in uh, lesser uh, priced garland, you will find threads are more visible than flowers. <laughs> Isn't it? So which is that better garland where threads are not visible? The point I am making is that the leader charges the members with so much, let us say, authority, due authority, self-respect, sense of pride, responsibility, equipped with all kinds of training, and leader connives not to be visible. That is the real leader. Leader should be so graceful. If my name is called or not, if my team's name is called, that is enough. Something I'll say in Hindi, I'll translate in English. Satya kabhi kabhi parde ke piche chupne ko amada hota hai. Many times you'll find truth wants to hide behind the veil. An untruth, myth, they are ruling the roost. A true leader, a true leader has to do so many things and has so many opportunities that he would not like to be quoted his name here and there and everywhere. If he is not visible, he is more satisfied. Yeah. One Chinese philosopher, Lao Tzu, he had said, even when Christ was not born, before that, the best leader is one who is not visible. It does not mean he, that he does not come to office or <laughs> he does not do any work. Or uh, under the pretense of de delegation, uh, delegates everything, does not delegate, throws away the work to others and runs away and makes merriment here and there and does picnic and goes to Switzerland. I'm not saying that. That is not the meaning of leader not being visible. Leader is not visible at here and there because leader is elsewhere busy for better things. He or she is trying to organize or procure technology, process, structure policy, leader is somewhere working. Like, what is the most important thing for our to, to live, to keep living? Air. Air is everywhere. It is not visible. Learn from air. Datta Treji had said, he had declared his 24 gurus, Datta Tre. Datta Tre is incarnation of all three forces combined. Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh. Combinedly called Datta Tre, son of Anusuya. And he had said, that I have found 24 gurus in my life. And one of the gurus is Vayu, that is air. Air is everywhere, but not visible. Impact of leader is everywhere, but leader is not visible because he's elsewhere busy. What I mean to say is that leader should take everything, uh, let us say, every stock of things in, uh, under his purview or her purview, but should be possibly away from doing micromanagement. I think micromanagement, too much of micromanagement 
is a signal that leader is not believing in his team. And when belief, faith, trust, trust is a big topic in the field of management. Managing by trust. So if trust is not there, you will be going for micromanagement. And you are needed for uh, bigger things and you are doing the smaller things. You are putting, you are using your position like a Kohinoor is being used as a paperweight. Kohinoor should be placed well in the entire, as a, as a showpiece in the entire, let us say, assembly differently. Rather using Kohinoor as a paperweight. If you are senior man, senior person, you are Kohinoor. Don't use yourself as a paperweight. And from anywhere ideas can flow. That's why I say many times, for a good leader, during discussion, during a discussion, during decision-making meetings, a good leader, and leader generally means basically he's senior most, maybe title is managing director, but while discussion, the leader forgets the difference between MD and MT. MD is managing director and MT is management training. Minds are interacting. When you decide, when you do decisions, minds are interacting. And a managing director, worthy managing director, will not hesitate saying, if situation such occurs to a management trainee in a discussion, that your ideas are better than my idea. I take back my idea. We will examine your ideas. I could never think that. I'm working for this organization for 15 years. You joined 15 weeks back. But I could never think like that. Thank you. Uh, I'm not promising anything. We'll examine your idea. Minds interact at decision-making table. Designations do not interact. So like when we go to temples and then we open our shoes outside the temple. So when you go to decision-making uh, assembly room, decision-making room, please put like you put, your, put out your shoe outside the temple, put your designation outside. What is meaning of a senior person? If you ask me, a senior person is a person compared to junior person, he or she is a senior person. A senior person is one who is accidentally born before the junior person. And because born early, so completed his or her matriculation early and uh, MBA early or whatever professional qualification, MBBS or uh, B early. Uh, so he, he or she is enjoying higher position. Uh, as a junior should not forget. It is a very interesting statement that juniors should never forget that a senior is a senior. And senior should never remember that a junior is a junior. <laughs> if that is the relation between younger brother and elder brother, you can imagine the sweet home where two brothers, two sisters, or younger and elders all are living so nicely. But what is happening in the family? Younger forgets that he is younger. And the elder does not forget that he is elder. It has to be reversed. So we have to grow gracefully. And many of you may be knocking the door. You may be at the threshold of entering into middle management. Many of you are already in middle management. There are a certain hierarchy and there has to be because senior persons, aging person, more experience should be paid more. That's fine. Junior, middle, senior, top. There are four layers. Junior manager, middle manager, senior manager, top manager. Tomorrow, some of you will become mid middle managers. Uh, already, some of you are already in middle management. So tomorrow, you will become part of senior management. Maybe some of you are still today also in senior management. And then day after tomorrow, you shall become part of top manager. Have you heard a book, um, uh, say, Hari Prasad Ji, where is he? He's sitting. Have you heard the title of a book, uh, What Brought You Here Will Not Take You There? I know, sir. Okay. There, there is a wonderful book. Its title itself is like uh, a novel. What Brought You Here Will Not Take You There. The qualification or the capabilities which brought you here means which made you successfully a candidate, a student of this program. To become a student of this program, also you needed certain caliber. But same caliber was not enough to pass out this program. And what caliber was needed to pass out this program will not be necessarily fully, or you can bank upon only on those skill set to become further successful in life. So what brought you here will not take you there. What, what packages, packaging of, or what, what let us say, what, what uh, composite whole 
skill, value, attitude, approaches, which are making you effective junior manager, same set will not be helpful for becoming effective middle managers. That's why the, we need to keep learning. The same set which is making you effective middle manager will not make you effective senior manager. What is the meaning? You have to keep learning. And the same set of uh, what is making you effective senior manage, manage, management team or a member or a leader will not make you effective top manager. What is the learning? You have to keep learning. That's why when Jesus said that only he or she is eligible to enter the kingdom of God who has kept the child inside alive. Similarly, only those persons will grow gracefully who have kept the child likeness inside, which is always eager to learn. Why a child is beautiful? I find two reasons. First is that child fully lives in present. On your faces, there are horizontal and vertical lines of future worries, past repentance. So there is a graph visible, huh? like a cross. But on child's face, uh, completely in present. Kya fikar hai? Jo beet gai, so baat gai. Jo aayega, dekha jayega. Actually, they are living what is given in Vedanta. So, that is the first reason why child is beautiful. And why child is beautiful? Second reason I find, see their look. Wo dekhte kaise hai? Inquisitive. Fresh look. Looking the light and enjoying it. Sense of surprise. If you keep your sense of surprise intact, you will find that your learning process gets tremendously accelerated. How that company grew better than me? How that colleague is doing better than me? And not with out of jealousy, but out of inquisitiveness. What is happening? Why, in spite of best effort, I put best, better effort than last year, but my result is proportionately not as better as last year. What is the reason? Inquisitiveness with fresh look and we develop. That's why we have to keep learning on daily basis. And there are four types of people, Lady Burton said. Type one, one who knows and knows that he knows. Second type, one who knows and does not know that he knows. The third type, who does not know, that knows that he knows. And fourth type, who does not know and does not know that he does not know. Fourth type. We should know and we should know that we are knowing. Sometimes we are bovine kind of people. Uh, humble, but uh, sometimes taken as granted by others. And we feel that, oh, he knows better. Some persons are that, they always feel others are better than me. They are ty typical submissive type. Some are always thinking, well, nobody is better than me. I am the best uh, material created by God. They are more aggressive type. But persons are worthy when I know I should respect myself and I should respect yourself. Assertive persons. So, we should know. But there is third type. I do not know and do not know that I do not know. That is fourth type, of course. But very dangerous is, I do not know, but I know that I know. <laughs> That is that is a problematic area. That's why I'll give you some routine for you. There are seven days in week. Make one minus. One. You want to sleep, you sleep. You want to see only movie, see. You want to climb mountain, do. But seven minus one is equal to six. And six days for each day on average, I'm putting one hour. So six days is equal to six hours. Again, I am doing minus one because I am empathetic to you. Five hours. Again, I am doing one more minus. Four hours. Four hours per week continuously. You should study on the cutting edge knowledge in your field. Maybe general management or maybe supply chain management. Four hours per week. Is it a daunting task I am giving you? It is my humble appeal. You will find a change. After two or three years, four hours per week study, you will be a shining man after two or three years. And you can do it very easily. Four hours per week is nothing. If I give you everyday task, you will not be able to do it. You will feel inferiority complex then. I, as I used to suffer, 
I had changed this study for myself, weekly target of study. Because one day I may not be able to study. But I was also a cricket player, whole day cricket playing. I was a cricket player. 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 Then I created weekly target. Now, weekly, if there is a loss there, there will be a gain there. And then I was a very happy man because I used to hit weekly target mostly. Weekly target, four hours. Please do it. And then you will find that you build upon knowledge. Slowly and slowly you build upon knowledge. Jal bindu nipate na poriyate ghatah. That by drop by drop, a pitcher gets filled by water. Similarly, a drop by drop, and these four hours per week will be a drop by drop. And then you will see there is a change. Then you will wait that why my promotion interview is day after tomorrow. Why not tomorrow? I want to meet and you're excited. Like that. So let this journey be joyful. And as I have been saying, especially to matured audience like you, even our PGP are matured, but <laughs> matured within inverted commas, you are authentically matured, I say to them, please do not do anything in your life from now onward, which does not give you joy. What gives you joy? You do it and fully do it. Then do it with full justice. And you will find life is changing because at one lower level of maturity, we know what to do for my betterment. At lower level of maturity, we know what to do for my betterment. At higher level of maturity, we also know what not to do, what I should not do, what I do, should not indulge into. When you have clear understanding what I should not do, then concept of auspiciousness and inauspiciousness becomes more clear. And you make a longer journey with chosen tasks, which multiplies value of life. Because at one stage, you search job. At other stage, you search profession. What is the difference? At one stage, you were searching a job. I was also searching a job. Lecturer ban jayenge. Now you are not searching a job. Perhaps you are searching a career. Career means your professional expertise should be blossoming. That is searching for a career. Then you search for job satisfaction. And then you search for life satisfaction. What is the meaning of life? And that's why Maslow said that every leader of the organization should create an environment that everyone, every member of the organization attains the highest level of need. Simply we, like a parrot, we memorize Maslow need, five needs, security need, this need, physiological security, social esteem, and actualization. Let us not memorize as a parrot. Maslow had said a very serious statement which we do not remember. He said, organization should create an environment for every individual to attain highest level of need. Will you be a party of, the, of such organization? I wish you should be party of such organization. Tadi Kavi of Bangla, Chandida said, Sava Rupore Manus Tattu, Taha Rupore Nahi. Above everything is human being. Human being is the highest truth. Work is for human being or human being is for work. The better is that work is for human being. Human being is for work, fine, you should work. But work is for human being, not human being is for work. Because human being should be larger set and work should be subset of human being. And when we do that, we create aesthetic organization, we create aesthetic society, we create beautiful life for self and for others. With this, I pray to God that you all be healthy, wealthy, prospering and, uh, and, and keep going. Uh, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for the enlightening thoughts. Now we move on to the certificate distribution. And um, as Professor Praveen mentioned in his report, batch report, um, 51 students or participants are eligible to uh, get the certificates. 48 of them would be receiving those certificates in person and three of them would receive it in absentia. Uh, now may I request uh, our director, uh, Dr. Pavan Kumar Singh, to come to the uh, front uh, and also request Professor Praveen to join to uh, 
about the certificates okay and i request uh, uh, mr sindil to read out the names thank you sir okay uh, now we are come to the highlighting event certificate distribution can i call by names uh, mr akshay Mr. Anurag, Mr. Arnab. Mr. Arpan, Mr. Ashish, Mr. Atul, Mr. Purva Balakrishna. Mr. Basveswalu, Mr. Bistwa Rajan, Mr. Dattaraj Anil Prabhu. Mr. Dibendra Das, Mr. Hari Prasad, Mr. Harinder Kumar. Mr. Hari Prabhu, Mr. Jibu Jos, Mr. Jignesh. Mr. Josmel Augustine, Mr. Joy Berta Berman, Mr. Kumar Kirtigaya.
మిస్టర్ మధుకృష్ణన్ శెట్టి మిస్టర్ మోనీష్ మిస్టర్ మిరంగాక తాకూర్ మిస్టర్ ముత్తు కుమార్ మిస్టర్ నవీన్ బాత్ మిస్టర్ నవీన్ సింగ్ మిస్టర్ నిఖిల్ శరద్ మిస్టర్ నితిన్ శంకర్ మిస్టర్ ఓం ప్రకాష్ మిస్టర్ ప్రాగ్య మిశ్రా మిస్టర్ రాజ్ కుమార్ మిస్టర్ రమేష్ దేవరాజన్ మిస్టర్ శంకర్నారాయణ మిస్టర్ శాశ్వత్ శేఖర్ మిస్ శ్వేత మిస్టర్ సయద్ మిస్టర్ శ్రీ బాలాజీ ప్రసాద్ మిస్టర్ సుజేష్ ఆర్ నాయర్ మిస్టర్ సురేష్ బాలమురుగన్ మిస్టర్ సూర్య మిస్టర్ తబారకుల్లా
மிஸ்டர் தாமரங்கிலிங்கம் மிஸ்டர் வெங்கட சூர்யா மிஸ்டர் விக்ராந்த் ஸ்ரீவத்சா மிஸ்டர் வினோத் குமார் மித்துஸ்ரீ மிஸ் ஸ்ரீராம் மிஸ்டர் பிரவீன் சர்மா Uh, we have three persons who are uh, in absentia. One is Mr. Ramaraju, Abhinav, and one is Mr. Vishal Chinde. Three persons are in absentia. Uh, now we will be presenting the top three meritorious students. So, yeah, yes, yes, sir. Sure, sir. The third place goes to Mr. Nitin Shankar. The second place goes to Siyad K. Modi Kuti. on the first place any guesses ya yeah, arpan gandhi thank you sir thank you sir thank you um so first of all congratulations okay. um before we end um i want to give this time to maybe two or three of you if you want to share your views and thoughts so i want to leave this podium for two or three minutes yeah please good afternoon everyone uh lots of words as of now to be very precise when i started this course um, never knew that we'll meet all of you and uh, we'll be here in this journey and i think uh, thanks to uh, professor 
Gorda, Professor Godwin, Professor Tambe, and uh, sir, to you as well. Um, <clears throat> I think Professor Shiva is not here, and then uh, Professor Gaja is not here. I think it's been a roller coaster journey. To be very honest, if you ask me, in a think uh, uh, never said because be, this course need a lot of rigorous time. Though all Saturdays we we have been <laughs> busy with uh, with a lot of discussions and all, but I think we all are here, and I think uh, we should be. Uh, Give a round of applause for all of us for making this through, be here through. And uh, I think uh, a round of applause for the professors because I think without them, we'll not be here. So thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for all the efforts. And uh, uh, I think uh, we should also give a round of applause to for our family. I think without this support, the time what we have uh, been spending here, I think their support was very, very much required. So I think Thanks to everyone and, and thanks to all of you. Thank you, sir. So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I take this opportunity to thank uh, all the professors uh, who taught us uh, for last one year. Uh, no parity. Everyone incul inculcate so much of knowledge uh, within that four hours of time. Uh, so. First of all, I would like to thank them. And secondly, I would like to thank as a whole, I am Trichy to come up with this course because uh, supply chain management as a, as a function need more uh, quali I mean, qualified manpower uh, in the industry. So such course like this will develop, bring more uh, talents to the industry. So the second thanks to them. That's third thanks um, to our organizations to give us some space when we are trying or pursuing some studies. So I, we would like to thank, I mean, on behalf of uh, uh, all of you, we should thank our, uh, the respective companies. And finally, uh, our parents, family members, and kids, when we are not so rich to have a separate room with a separate chair and table to uh, uh, spend four hours peacefully, so uh, uh, I will I will give my example. If Saturday comes at six forty five, I'll be there at my home. Everyone will go out. So they are here. I have to thank them. Thank you so much. I'm little little emotional. Uh, so I'm speechless. Thank you so much uh, uh, for all your uh, efforts, and I have to thank the ease office and uh, uh, in, in university. We always expect. I, I studied in university. Uh, they give least importance to the food. Uh, everyone will agree the everyday lunch was spectacular. It's like a homemade food we enjoyed. Thank you for the arrangements uh, uh, from his office. And thank you for all people, all the group members of mine and the entire 50 students here. Thank you for all your support. Uh, the caption projects was fantastic. And we learned so much of time. I mean, so much of things in last one year. and. Thank God. Thank you so much. So, yeah, I don't have family, so I'm not going to talk about my personal things here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, obviously, when we started this uh, journey, right, uh, actually, I didn't had any knowledge about, uh, I was in supply chain, but I don't know about all these things, whatever we uh, got to know here, right? We we did something which we, our organization expected to do, and we followed it, and we tried to put our, uh, ourselves in it and try to establish something new, that's it. But on a core supply chain when my, when i went into this course right we understood everything like it, it's 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 a it's a whole sea like we we just stepped into the sea i feel and uh, it's time for us to swim together but the best part of this course which i liked is uh, yes professors uh, they they are the best and uh, we had a, a, a since i am coming from uh, uh, anna university as well I, I I found these professors are at a superior level than whatever I learned uh, till date. Okay. Uh, that is something because I could easily connect with the problems, what they are telling, and uh, I could easily understand what I'm going to do with this, right? 
uh the second best thing which i need to tell is the people which i found here seriously i'm telling i i i i wouldn't have imagined i would have talked with some ceo ceo coos are there and there are lot of people and lot of informations uh which even with the course other than course i got to know from the people by just talking with them what are the problems they are facing and all the capstone project is like everyone took something from their industry came with some projects and explained to us right it was the state where i could gather every department ka knowledge which is why i am telling like this campus integration module when it was decided right i felt bad are five days fir se we need to go there stand, stay in tirchi why we need to do all these things online may they do the certificate but i regret that decision okay the best five days spent is this five days seriously i am telling thanks a lot to all of us okay like everyone were really helpful and professors thanks a lot you are you you treated us not like a students itself to be honest you treated us like very good care you took us very care, carefully and we felt being in a home thanks a lot professor thank you all Uh, on behalf of class i would like to again just uh, give the moment of thanks to the professor and really we would like to thank them from the core of our heart to give us such, such a tremendous uh, arrangement during this uh, our stays here and in, in this course whatever we have learned thank you so finally we come to the end of this particular event but um before we conclude i just want to thank you okay so first of all let me thank our director for gracing this occasion it's not only for this occasion but he was always available and he was talking about the invisible leader and he is one okay so so we see him uh, invisible but also present in all our activities and definitely uh his guidance and support and motivation is actually what is keeping us going so thank you very much sir so um we thank the ec office the entire team uh, professor prashant uh, sir sintil shivraj rajlakshmi and the entire team okay, for continuously supporting this program throughout okay so so they were really helping us out okay not only the campus integration module but also the entire program okay? and also um i thank the the times pro team okay, who helped us right in the very beginning right from the admission process and also the the it support and the uh, uh, the academic session support throughout the entire year and also during the campus integration module please next um let me thank my um co program director prasad Ravin Tambe, who had been a great support, always available whenever we had to discuss few things about this program, and also plan few things, uh, plan the faculty resources, and also um, plan this particular campus integration module. Thank you very much, sir. And um, this program would not have been possible without the full support of our area faculty members. Okay, so I would like to thank uh, uh, Professor Pravin, Professor Sirish. Uh, Professor Shiva Kumar, Professor Gajanand, Professor Binu, okay? and also we had one visiting faculty. Uh, no, not for this, okay. So here it's all uh, it was done by our area faculty members. So definitely um, 
uh, they took their time to support and and definitely i really thank them for the success of this particular program and next definitely um i thank all of you for taking the leap of faith and joining this particular program okay so i know it was rigorous and i know it is very tough because you have to continue, continuously put all your saturdays that's not an easy commitment okay so definitely um you deserve an applaud for yourself and um as some of you rightly said definitely um your family members need acknowledgement as well okay those who are watching online and those who are present here because definitely saturday is the time where you want to spend time with your family and definitely they invested their time with you okay it's not that you invested your time they also equally invested their time with you so definitely they uh, need to, uh, adequate thanks and also acknowledgement okay and and the same way also your organization okay so def- uh, some of you have different uh, working days okay because we have people from uh, middle east also people from apac region as well okay so they have different working days and still your organization supported i we also are thankful to your organizations okay? and um we thank the entire it team okay both during the uh, it sessions uh, during the classroom sessions uh, and also during the campus integration module here to ensure that uh, everything was possible and and especially um, they did a wonderful job during the lockdown period where uh, in spite of all those challenges we, they ensured that the facility was up and running so a big thanks to the entire it team so finally um uh, thanks to all the uh, facility support team here the housekeeping and 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 all the other support team members okay so so they are highly invisible okay but they ensure that this place is visible okay so 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 that's that's how they are actually okay so really thank all the support housekeeping staff and all the it support maintenance staff etc okay so um i don't know if i miss someone just uh i apologize if i miss someone but thank you everyone thank you so with this we come to the end of the event um so let's please rise up for the national anthem जनगणमन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजर आतम रक्षा प्राणवेद उत्तल बंगा दिन भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय जय 